I was reading this book and it, the subject was about solitude and it made me go back in time a little bit and think about uh, how afraid I was at one point to have solitude in my life and it's it was about I guess probably around 2008 um, I started going through a divorce and the, the very first thing that happened is I you know like I panicked because I was so afraid of being alone I at that point in time I could not even go to a restaurant and eat by myself that's how afraid I was of being by myself and there's something that happens when we're that insecure with ourselves, and it makes us um, I guess a search externally for happiness and so what I would do is I would get involved in another relationship and then that relationship wouldn't work and boom I would get involved in another relationship and um, I you know I had continued that process for a good probably two years of just jumping from one thing to another you know just searching for happiness externally and uh, something clicked one day with a girlfriend of mine she said um, how how long has it been since you've gone without texting someone or dating someone and at that point in time I don't even think I had made it two weeks <laughs> and she said can you imagine going for six months without texting, without dating, but like take some time to just really get to know yourself. And my first thought was panic. Like I just, I cannot even fathom going that long, you know, without being with someone. And uh, what was really interesting about that is when I realized it was panic, that's what made me go ahead and give myself the break and what I found is that I had been filling this void that was within myself for so long with external things that I didn't even uh, know who I was I didn't have a clue I didn't know what I liked to do I didn't know what my favorite restaurant would be I didn't know where I would like to go on vacations I my entire life had been based on you know what other people wanted and when I was by myself like my soul could actually speak to me and it could let me know who I was and I did a lot of reading a lot of soul searching a lot of listening to music and just dancing by myself and um, I started finding out that I loved who I was inside and the beautiful thing about that is when you feel that good within yourself you don't need anything else to make you happy you don't have to search externally it's like if you find yourself constantly needing to find something to do or someone to be with or um, you know it's almost like a panic mode if you know that you're gonna have some time alone take the time to consider why you're doing that what are you running from because when you take the time to actually get to know yourself that's when really a relationship can come in and it can just be icing on the cake and that's when you don't accept mediocrity like you don't settle for anything because you don't need it you're doing it because you want it there's a huge difference there you know, I see a lot of people that go through relationship issues and they'll, they break up with somebody and then they jump right back into the relationship with that individual and it's because we're so fearful of change or we're fearful of being alone or we're not going to find somebody that's going to, you know, fit in our world and we don't want to be alone. You know, that's basically what it boils back down to if we're operating from that mode of having a filling a void externally but once that void is full you know within yourself oh, that's when you can just go out and experience life let things happen and it's it brings a whole new level of happiness so I'm really really thankful for my girlfriend um, Liana because she's the one that pointed it out to me what I was doing and had she not done that 
I don't think I would have given myself the break, a very, very necessary break. And what I'm finding now is, like, I don't need it. And I am very, very happy. And now when it, somebody perfect walks in, then boom, <laughs> it can happen. Anyway, just something to think about. Have a good afternoon.